of your yawping! For the sake of our ears, shut your mouth! Sure, and you're an idiot. You are all the same. Grab the bitch! Faye, won't you let a caged bird sing? Shit. I'd hoped an audience of tone-deaf Danes might permit. Ah, you Kira. Hold her down! Wonder of wonders. How much trouble can I be in at once? Can't help you. This one comes with me. No, no, no! She will answer for this insult! Can't change your mind? <laughs> you owe me. You sing with conviction. It is the mournful song of the Leofal, the ancient stone you saw at the coronation. That stone, it seemed to... The legend is that the stone will bring woe. But the song claims if Ireland came to peril, the stone would rain a storm of wonders. From where would the song draw this wisdom? I do not know, but my mother sang it. My mother's mother sang it as well, and her mother and hers. Back to the very first woman of the isle. The mere sound of the words connects me to my ancestors and this fertile soil. You are lucky. I've left my land far behind. You need not leave to feel the land change beneath you. That's why I'm stuck in this court like some sort of dancing goat. Surely you can leave any time you wish. I can, and I will. But not until Flan rules all Ireland. Is he such a great man as that? He understands that to be king is to be king of all. Though I'm pagan, he made me court poet. He respects the old ways. I admire your passion. Thank you for that. Not everyone is so appreciative. I appreciate you for all your qualities, Kira. I've got more than a fine voice for singing, if that's what you're asking. Is that what you're asking? I'm asking if you'd like to take advantage of a nurse who finds herself alone with a bewitching Irish woman. Ara, don't you have a way with words, Eivor? And I'm not saying never. I understand. Ah, I all but forgot. Flon sent me to remind you to begin his ballad. <laughs> he needn't worry. I know my purpose here. If it is as glorious as that song was lovely, Flon is certain to gain many followers. Good night, Eivor. I'll see you in the morning. Slan. Good night, Kira. Thank you for not saying anything about my past. The past is past, not our future. I swear, Eivor, you really are like a hero out of folk tales. Do I have permission to sing your song? You do. Once I've had a chance to finish it. 
I reckon Flan and Barith have found common ground, seeing as you're still here. They have. Ara, and how much of your charm seeped into that conversation? I merely showed the High King I'm a Norse he can trust. It is more than that. You've certainly left your mark here. Sure, I think Flan is fond of you. Is he the only one? <laughs> You're not shy, are you? Just perceptive. It is beautiful. I used to wash away my cares and pain in this pond. Would it be all right if I... Of course. As a young girl, when the Christians cleared the forests of Druids, I fled and stumbled on this spot. How would I survive? My friends, the world I knew. Soon, I turned to the children of Thanu. At first, they pledged simply to keep the old ways alive. Then, one by one, druids turned to dark rituals. Then they turned to worse. Yes, even murder. I disavowed the children and now pray for their destruction. The high druid spoke of some sort of awful might. Fantasies, an ancient fable of a people long lost. The druids are now dispersed without a champion. You have King Flaw. My hopes are placed in him, but am I a fool? He has no deep love of the past. He hopes to build a new Ireland. He pledges that my people will be part of it. But once he's king, storms will come. I cannot know where he will take refuge. You are no fool. You and I have been through much together. We came near death. I would like to celebrate life. This is why you brought me to this place. It is a lovely glen. Perhaps we could pass some time here. I would like very much to pass some time with you. I... lovely. Lovely indeed. My mother used to tell me how the Morrigan would feed on the death of heroes, then fill men's heads with thoughts of war. I imagined using the Tara Stone to drown out their song, the way Bishop Patrick drove the snakes from Ireland. There is no power strong enough to do what you say. Not even the gods can change fate. The world is destined to end in war. It was not but the fantasy of a young girl, so... Tell Flon I'll come to him after I've arranged things with Sigfrith. Tell him yourself. I'm not leaving yet. Ach, 
What are you doing? Flan, the spineless fool. What was he thinking? He saw an opportunity to unite the kingdoms. He seized it. It is what any king would do. Do not defend him. I am not. But consider what would happen if he ignored these allied kings. You're right to be upset. But you know Flan best. This was not a decision he made lightly. Let us go back and talk with him. If anyone can convince him to reconsider, it's you. Oh, I will. Whether he wants to or not. What? I am sorry, Eivor. I cannot let them erase us. <coughs> it ends. Owen, the children of Danu, they only exist in pursuit of the stone's power. And I am the key to unleashing it. You must kill me. Kill me, Eivor. If I die, Tara's power dies with me. And there will be nothing left to lead my people astray. The old ways will return. Let me do this. Let me save them. Please. You may be the key to this power, but the stone is the source. Destroy it. You know I cannot. Your ancestors are souls in another realm. They will not despair of this stone's loss. Sometimes we must sacrifice what we treasure most to protect the ones we love. Bury the past. Build the future. Kira, I bow my head in contrition. I fail you. I failed you and the true druids of Ireland. For that, I truly apologize. I will speak to the kings and undo my rash decision. The land you have wished for is secure. I hope it is so, Flom. Farewell. Farewell, Eivor. Where will you go?